Hiya, welcome to another video. Do you remember this picture? The work of Francis Burrard. It was his nephew, Cyril Henry Burrard, who lived in Coggeshall. And I did a video about the house he lived in, which was in Stoneham Street at the Royal Oak, which was once a public house. And I'd, I'll put a link to that video down there so that you know. I felt after doing that, having looked into Cyril, the nephew of Francis, his life, and I felt that Cyril Henry Burrard deserved a video in his own right. So in this video, I want to go into his, his life. And I'm going to read to you from the Coggeshall Museum website what it says about Cyril Henry Burrard. Cyril Henry Burrard was born in Barnes, Surrey, on the 9th of July, 1877. Educated at Downside School, where he won a drawing prize in 1890. And at Brighton School of Art, before taking over the running of his late father's photographic business in Piccadilly, Central London. He was close to his uncle Francis Burrard, and helped him with the final version of his master's voice, the painting used on the HMV records, which is the one that I showed you here. Cyril Henry Burrard emigrated to Canada, arriving in Manitoba in 1913 and he became a leading figure in the Winnipeg arts community, serving as a president of the Manitoba Society of Artists and Craftsmen. And in 1915, he was a founder of the Winnipeg Art Club. In May 1915, Burrard enlisted in the Winnipeg Grenadiers, serving with the 43rd Battalion of the Canadian Expeditionary Force, the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders of Canada. He was wounded in the left leg in October 1916, but he was back on, at the front before Christmas that year. Almost a year later, in November 1917, he was posted to the Canadian War Office as an official artist. But long before this, Burrard had been sketching scenes along the front, and some of his works are the only depictions we have of the buildings that existed prior to the destruction of war. Burrard filled seven sketchbooks, completing more than 300 images and remained in the army after the armistice, working some of these drawings into etchings. In August of 1919, he resigned his commission and in the same year, some of his work formed part of the Canadian War Memorials Exhibition, which was held in London. He seems then to have returned to Canada, but in the 1920s he came back to England for good, and eventually settled in Coggeshall, where he remained for the rest of his life. Burrard's favourite medium was undoubtedly etching, but he also worked with dry point, oils and watercolours. He was a regular exhibitor at the Royal Academy 
between 1912 and 1924, and he received commissions recording industrial scenes, aircraft and topographical views which were used in the LNER railway carriages. He was a member of the Ipswich Art Club 1948 to 1949 and also exhibited from his home, which was Royal Oak Cottage on Stoneham Street, once the Royal Oak Inn opposite the old school. He produced many etchings of Coggeshall, scenes including views of Market Hill, the Woolpack, Cockerills on Church Street, the River Bridge and Bridge Street, and several interiors of Paycocks. Cyril Barard died in 1965 and he has a monument in the church. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you wouldn't mind, put it up there and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.